So it's just gonna be where you cut to and start the video and stuff, and we're just this is the end of us just <laughs> showing. It's like this is the end of our video. If you look at it though, it doesn't look like we drank that much. Okay, so I'm shopping for cheap wine taste test number one, and I'm going any place that an actual Floridian will go. Publix. So, um, I was rushing through Publix yesterday, and I kind of totally forgot to film myself picking out these uh, bottles of wine like I was supposed to. Sorry, Jesse. So we have to do one red, one right, and one sparkling. And I feel like I'm gonna be here a while. And it has to be the cheapest we can find of each. So, this is a Burgunder? It's a Cabernet Sauvignon. I don't know, does this count as a red wine? I mean, it's dark, it's, it's, it's a reddish color. We're going for it. White is a Pinot Grigio. This is like $3.89. They had a bunch of this like Lindman's brand that was like really super cheap. Um, but I only picked up the white out of this because I didn't want all of the same thing to be the tasting. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the flip-flop, which is $7.49 for a white. We were supposed to pick a sparkling, but I honestly couldn't find a sparkling that looked really good for under $10 that I really wanted to try. So I picked up a rosé, which is not really a rosé, it's technically a white, but it's a white Zinfandel from Setter Home. So I am not versed enough in wine to know if white Zinfandel is in fact a white or a red wine, despite the fact that it says white in it. Hopefully Jesse didn't pick these, so. Um, we're at my place today. We are guessing which type of wine I don't know, it's a weird thing. So, so we don't like expensive things and no. we like wine. Also, if there's a random cat tail somewhere in the video, it's just her cat. Yeah. He's adorable. Also a dick, but yeah. adorable. See, there he is. <laughs> okay. Um, so we were like, let's try cheap wines because we like wine and we like cheap things. I almost got the wine in a can, so I'm not gonna mm. lie. But I was like, nope, eh. bottles, bottle. So. I wasn't gonna cheat. I couldn't find box wine. Yeah, that, yeah, box wine would definitely be the cheapest, but these are the cheapest bottles of wine we can find at our Publixes. So uh, we're gonna actually have a helper to help us today. It's gonna be my boyfriend, Nathan. Um, you're probably randomly hearing us going, Nate, <laughs> for a wine. So <laughs> you realize if we start getting legitimately drunk, he's gonna hate us. I think he hates me enough as it is. <laughs> so. <laughs> I was gonna say, where is he? <laughs> the he's, just, he's just sitting there staring at us while we're doing this. Uh, we're not allowed to see the wine. Um, we'll get two glasses, we'll take a sip, we'll probably discuss how either gross or delicious it is, is, and then we'll try to guess which wine it is, and then I'm assuming Nathan will bring over the bottle to show us what it is. Yes, and then whoever it is that purchased it will say how much it was. Yeah. Or, well, the other person should guess. Yeah, so like, like, oh, I purchased it, so Jesse would guess, you know, oh, this is how much, and then I was like, ah, you know, it's this much. And so there we go. That is the theme of this video. It's probably going to be very long, very tedious. Let's get started. Nate! Nate! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It smells like cheap alcohol. <laughs> It smells very alcohol -y. Very It does. Nice. It's very um, whiny. It tastes, it smells very much like just straight alcohol. That's a lot better than I thought I'd be based yes. on <laughs> Oh my god. That's actually really good. That is really good. Oh my god. That's a lot sweeter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Because reds are usually kind of on the like not bitter so, yeah. side. So. All right. Um, I feel like I know which one this is. I feel like I know who this was. My guess is this is a blackberry one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nathan, which bottle of wine was that? Ooh, we were right. Yes, twas the blackberry. Twas the blackberry. Which I'd never fucking heard of this brand before. Ne yeah, no, that's actually really good. Mogan David. America's a classic wine. So this is a classic fancy wine. So here's the thing that got me. Okay. After I'd purchased it, I was sitting at home showing them to my mom. And on the back of this one it says, served chilled for a classic American taste in iced tea or with your favorite mixer, club soda, lemon lime soft drink, or ginger ale. So this is a wine mixer. I guess. Okay. The uh, thing is, is with us being 
loving sweet tea as much as we want. I feel like this would be really good in sweet tea. All right, so you purchased this bottle of wine. I did. Let me take one more sip here. Nice big old sip. I was gonna say that was a sip. That was a chug. Um, I, wait, hold on, how much do you have? Okay, I was about to be like, oh, I'm concerned for myself. <laughs> um, this is actually really fucking good. Right? This is a breakfast wine. <laughs> This is that like after hangover, like you need a little bit more alcohol to get through the day kind of Yeah, wine. like you woke up like the day after a fucking big ass party. Yeah, like I'm gonna have some dessert. Like, that's and you're like, wine. oh, I gotta, I gotta get this hangover off. I've gotta go to the fucking office for eight hours. Hold on. Let me get some wine in there. This is a breakfast. It tastes like, you could put this, make this into syrup and put it on blueberries or pancakes. It is blackberry. Yeah. Um, so like it's kind of. I feel like this is way better than the Concord would have been because there was blackberry and there was Concord, which is a great, and I feel like this is much better. So this is a a berry wine, not a grape wine. <laughs> sure. Whatever. Um. How much did I spend on it? Five dollars and fifty cents. Nope. How much? I think this one was four sixty-seven. Cheers to Mor Mogan and David for 467 dessert breakfast wine. Dessert breakfast wine. This is this is the midnight wine. <laughs> the do I have dessert or do I have breakfast? Are we just gonna are we gonna finish each glass? <laughs> I'm finishing this glass. I'm pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to drink wine, but I don't care. I'm good. Next! Thank you. Thank you. And then we can rank them. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Be Eugene and rank king stuff. No, we'll be the rank bitches. Rank bitches. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> don't know you did something happened. cool and I was just like, yeah. I, I'm a nobody, nerd. nobody just, uh, nobody has ever said that I was cool. Okay. I just did. So fucking deal with it. Well, compared to me. Right down. Compared to me. <laughs> hey, look at there's more wine. Hey, another red. I wonder who got this one. I know, right? <laughs> Gotta mix it up a little bit, babe. Eh, it's fine. It's a theme. This one doesn't smell as alcoholy, <laughs> but it does have a weird smell. Yeah. Like I feel like this one's gonna be a lot more bitter. Yeah. Maybe a bit more dry. Ready to go? Nope. <laughs> mm. Nope. Oh fuck! Oh god! I don't like that. That's bitter and dry and gross. Do feet have a taste? It's this. <laughs> if feet have a taste. I don't know, foot fetishes out there. Do feet have a taste? I feel like they would, depending on how clean they are. Yeah. And this is not clean feet. No. <laughs> oh, this, dear God. This has worked a restaurant six hours with <laughs> dirty feet. Ugh. Like, okay, so the blackberry smelt worse, worse than it tasted. This smells better, but this tastes awful. Uh, it's like as soon as it hits your tongue, you just it dries it out. I spit it back out. I literally spit oh, it back Oh, you spit out. it back out? I didn't. I swallowed. I don't oh, no. spit. <laughs> I normally don't spit either, but god damn Spitters are quitters. I am a quitter today. That was all. I'm not, no. It's It's like, I, I feel like I need to though. No, I can't. Because, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm one of those people, I don't mind dry, bitter reds. Because I know that's what reds are. Don't, but I it's, don't drink them. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I can't. My my go-to wine is like a sparkling Moscato or like a dessert wine. Like, why did you do that? Uh, no, yeah, no, no, there's just, yeah. No, no, I love you, babe. Thank you. That was gross. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like, oh, oh, yeah. He's smart. He's smart. Oh, this one had a cork in it. No, right. it's done. Yeah, it's <laughs> put a cork in it. Put a cork it's in done. it. So, so, oh, well, that's why it's a Cabernet Sauvignon. That's why it's that bitter. It's gross. It is. So, like, I was. It reminded me of the Apothic Dark. Oh, that stuff's so disgusting. It's so gross. It's so disgusting. We bought. So, that. if you like Apothic Dark, get Behringer Founders Estate Cabernet Sauvignon because it's the same thing but cheaper. Yeah. It's still gross, but still cheaper. Gross, but cheaper. Yeah. So, like, I found this one. I was. It was debating between two. They were both Cabernet Sauvignons, which apparently is the cheapest version of red. Um, okay, hold on. Let's read what it says on the back. In 1876, the brothers Jacob and Frederick, blah, 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 today remain in Napa as long as continually, blah, blah, blah. This Cabernet Sauvignon is a full-bodied wine with deep berry, 
toasted oak and vanilla spice flavor. I didn't taste any vanilla. I tasted all of the toasted oak and it was just burnt. Yeah. It was burnt oak. She was she was definitely full bodied though. So how much did I pay for this bottle of wine? Mm. Let's see, it's trying to be fancy with the label. It tastes disgusting, which I feel like means it's a little bit more expensive Probably. than mine. <laughs> Probably. So I'm gonna go with six fifty. Six forty nine. Wow! Nailed it! Nailing it! <laughs> this makes me a wine bitch. Makes you a wine bitch. Where we need wine bitch uh, merch now? Yeah, put that one at the fucking end. Oh, we have another wine already. Oh wow! Oh wow! This helps. So is great. I think I think it is smart the how we did it with the handing you the glasses and when you hand us the bottle. This is a white. This is a white. It, it smells, smells good. Like no. dirt. It doesn't, it smells like dirt. It smells like beachy dirt. Yeah, like the dunes. It smells like dunes. I don't, I don't even want to taste it because it smells so bad. It doesn't really have a Taste. It doesn't have a taste. Wait, is this sparkling? Hold on. It doesn't look sparkly. There's no bubbles in it. I wonder how it look on camera. <laughs> it it's, doesn't have a taste. Yeah, it's a very minimal taste. It's not sweet like white no. wine normally is. No, it's not sweet at all. It is. I would say it's almost, in fact, a little bitter. But so, there's no like grapey there's no, taste. There's no like. There's no like significant like. Oh, this is how it tastes. There's, there's no significant. I'm drinking wine. Yeah, like it. I, I feel like I'm drinking I'm a flat drinking, ginger ale. You're drinking dune water. It smells mm. like the dunes. It really depends on what organisms are in that dune. It depends on which dunes you're talking about. Because <laughs> if they're Florida Atlantic dunes. Yeah. I don't, like, I don't particularly like it. But I don't particularly hate it. Like, like if I went If to, I had to drink it, I wouldn't die like I would the fucking yeah, Cabernet. Yeah, yeah, when I would I'd spit back out. Like this is that this is that wine I feel like that you go to like a party and somebody buys like a bunch of cheap wine and then you drink it like slowly because so this is it's the, free wine. This is the PBR of wines. Yeah. Makes sense because although I don't think I would be as discriminatory against this wine as I am PBR because <laughs> I fucking hate PBR. Like it would be one of those like slowly sip wines that you drink because they gave it to you for free but you don't want to like chug it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not mad at it. Um, I don't know whose it is. Me neither. Like it's it's a toss up between the two whites. Yeah. Because I don't even know what your white was. It, it was a flip flop. That's literally what it's <laughs> called. It's the brand is a flip flop. <laughs> I think mine's a Pinot Grigio, so like, I can see this being a Pinot. I feel like mine's a Pinot too. Oh fuck. Oh god. <laughs> All right, well, it's a white wine that doesn't particularly suck. What is it, Nathan? Da -da -da -da. It oh, was yours. All right. Glass. So it is. No, a give me your glass so I can give him. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a waitress. <laughs> All right. So theirs was like on, it's a crisp Pinot Grigio. Okay, I can, I get the crisp, the crispy, yeah. So this is a Bin 85 crisp Pinot Grigio. This is from Australia. South oh, that's Eastern Australia. shocking that it doesn't have more flavor then. Yeah. Um, As you just hear it slowly Bin, getting more. <laughs> <laughs> Bin 85 Pinot Grigio has been brought to life. It's, it's slowly going down the drain. Um, <laughs> by artist David Bromley's eyes. This is an interpretation of a Riviera on a summer's day. That's what it smells like. The Riviera. Riviera. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a summer's day, though. Midsummer's afternoon? Hey, afternoon drizzle? Yeah. yeah. Crisp, refreshing flavors of a Pinot Grigio to bring you to this contemporary approach of style, which goes perfectly with wine, family, and friends. So, so it's yeah, cute. it's a cute little I label. I love the label. The label is super cute. And this brand had a couple different, like, it had a couple reds, it had a couple whites. It wasn't too bad. How much do you think I spent on this bottle? 528? $3. Holy crap, that's and 86 cents. No, I would get so wine drunk off this. And all of them on that line was like $3 and something cents. Like they were all three something. 
Oh, I would get so fucked up by this. Yeah. So solid middle. No to self. Yeah, that's a fucking solid. Middle. Solid middle. Right. We're we're ranking them off camera. You can yeah, we'll we'll pull them back. We'll do some shit. I don't yeah, fucking we'll, know. We'll, so solid middle of the ground wide, especially for like for under four dollars. Under four dollars. That's that's like fucking... a solid amount of wine. Yeah. So go Lindmans. Yes. Dr. Henry John Lindman's. That's fancy. That's why there's not much flavors, because he was like, the more flavor, the more unhealthy it is, and I'm a doctor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I thought I saw sparkling. It is sparkling. Okay. So then I don't know, know which what it is. Yeah, we already know what it is, because we only got one sparkling. But it's sweet. <laughs> it's already gone. <laughs> Pretty much. That shit is good. Mm. That's really good. Oh my fuck. This is a sparkling because there's little bubbles in it. Yeah. And you can feel it pop on your tongue. Yes. And it's very sweet. It's very, very sweet. You know, I was really concerned because, like, as we both had this brand before, just not the plain flavor. So I figured it was going to be fucking, like, no flavor, disgusting. But this is actually really good. This is something I'd get wine drunk off of. I think it's happening. I think it's currently happening over to my yes. I have the raspberry one at home. Yeah. This is really fucking good. Oh, my God. Well, now you know that all of it is really good. Yep. Yeah. I've, I mean, I've had multiple flavors. I've just never gotten the plain before because I'm like, why get plain when you can have raspberry or you can have grape? So, like, are all wines grape flavored and then they add extra flavor or like... Well, wine, wine is made of grapes. Oh, well, yeah, but like... <laughs> <laughs> are you that fucked up already? No, <laughs> like, okay, so they're all made of grapes, but they're not all grape flavored. Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, they would add in. I wonder if they're additives or if they, like... I feel like you can make wine out of any fermented fruit. Yeah. Like, it doesn't have to be grapes. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Could you make wine out of apples? That would be a good-ass fucking wine. That would be great wine. Hey, Nate, can you Google if you can make wine out of apples? Uh, that would be pretty exciting. No, he's right. Oh! oh! <laughs> Nate over here making points! <laughs> It would, it would, it would be, be fucking cider. Cider. <laughs> cider. All right. Well, maybe, maybe we isn't are it? Hold a on. Bit isn't more. it only cider if it's spiced? Okay, that's where your knowledge stops. Because <laughs> yeah, because I can't have most ciders. Mm. <laughs> just fucking good. It's good. Cinnamon. Yeah. Well, this doesn't have cinnamon. Well, but. no. I meant like cider has cinnamon. <laughs> Maybe we are a little bit more. I'm glad we ate before this. What well, munched? We munched. But it was carbs. Yeah, it was heavy. It was popcorn chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Publix. Boom, what do you get? It's the food of Southern people. It really is. It's a Florida staple. And then, of course, he already set it down. You know. So. This is, what is it called? Beardy. Verde, Verde, Verde. If this you're is really white, Verde. Verde. Oh my God. This is a product of Italy. Yes. The new sparkling sensation from Italy. That's all it says. Now the question is: Is this before or after the blackberry? I would say after because it doesn't have as much actual flavor. Yeah, that wasn't as flavory. Yeah, like that one. Like we were able to place this time of day. Like yeah. what it would fucking be good with to eat. This, this is like, we just this like, like we'd get wine drunk. This off. is a mimosa drink. Yes. This is what you put with that pop, that orange juice in the morning. Put some of this, and then that's that. That reminds me of my mimosa. sister's wedding. <laughs> we got really drunk before my sister's wedding. So right now we've got blackberry, verde, Lindemans, and then on the fucking end of the spectrum, Behringer. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> this one smells like beef. This one is beef. This is the flip flop tip. <laughs> You're not wrong though. <laughs> <laughs> when flip flops taste like flip flop. <laughs> it reminds me of 
of something. But I don't know if I want to say it before we drink it. Mm, you know what it reminds me of? Hmm. Bad decisions. I mean, technically, yes, but that's <laughs> not the, like, actual legitimate smell that I was thinking of. You know when you walk into a house that somebody owns too many animals in? Or, like, and you get, like, the litter box and, like, where the dog has gone, like... It's like that animal smell. Yeah. I'm really scared to drink it, to be honest. You want me to go first? Sure. Okay. It's not that. It's not the Cabernet. But it's very dry for a white. It is very dry. It's, it's the Cabernet in a white form. But I didn't spit it out. So... I was able so to already it has ranked above the Cabernet. Yeah. But it's really dry. Like I feel like I it's need very dry for a white. Like I need something to coat my tongue. Right. Like I shouldn't need a chaser for wine. Yeah. No. The wine should is be the chaser. chaser. Yeah. yeah. You the wine is the chaser. Continue to drink your wine. Yeah. Yeah. I think at this point I'm just drinking wine. Still <laughs> like yeah. It does taste better than it smells. Well, then it, it smells pretty bad. It still tastes pretty bad, too. Wait, did I guess how much we have you paid for this? No. How much did I pay? <laughs> <laughs> how much did I pay for the Verde? Seven ninety-five. It was four fifty-two. Four fifty-eight. One fifty. All right. Yeah. That's how I got introduced to that brand was when I was in college. <laughs> that fucking makes sense. <laughs> I was in college and friends were over and I was the only one 21 and up. There you go. All right. So it was I my job to buy it all. I don't want to drink this You anymore. don't want to drink anymore. I'm just drinking it anymore. That's not great. I'm not a little bitch. <laughs> I am. <laughs> it's fine. So it is the flip-flop wine. It's Pinot Grigio. Right. And they, Okay, well, that's not a lie. They have it in the middle. But I feel like it's, it's more not medium sweet. dry than it is sweet. Yeah. yeah, it's not sweet. So light bodied, obviously. You know, with tropical citrus, ripe pear. Where's the pear? I don't pear know. would have made it better. Yeah. Um, and a zesty, clean finish. I wouldn't call it clean, but I would definitely call it zesty. Serve chilled now or save for your next flippin' perfect occasion. You missed the perfect opportunity to put fucking. Flip flop wines, what's your problem? Right. But I mean, you're There's not like. Why do they put this. like? Why is it called flip flop wine? You know, we should really check how much alcohol per volume these are. Fuck, that has thirteen. That's why. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, so the blackberry I has ten percent. I'm putting this after the Lindemans. Yes. Yes, after Lindemans. Five percent. Eleven point five. That one was thirteen. 13. And then what is the disgusting mess? Thirteen point eight. So we don't like alcoholic wines. We well, like... no, this one's ten percent. The one, the blackberry wine is ten percent. Oh, well, the blackberry must cover it up. Would you be a wineaholic? I know which one this one is. Yeah. So the last bottle of wine. Caroline. So we were supposed to do white, red. And a sparkling, Caroline decided to get rosé instead, and instead of rosé, she got white Zinfandel. <laughs> I am a rule breaker. <laughs> yes, which is funny because I thought that was gonna be me, but nope. Right? This doesn't smell like a lot. It doesn't. But then again, it's Shutter Home. Yeah, and it's, it's a classic white bitch bougie. You know, white it's bitch that. Wine. It's that. You know. You know. It's it's hella cheap. You need to get wine drunk with your girlfriends because that one guy broke up with your girlfriend for the You know that scene time. that's in every single girlfriend movie where they open up the front door and all the girls are sitting there and one's got a bottle of wine. It's Shutter Home that they're holding. Like Yeah, like it's all it's all that stuff. It's like It's it, Shutter Wine or Cupcake, one of the two. And they're like, Ah, let's have a girls' night and like do each other's nails. Like I seriously got wine drunk one night and I tried to do like my own acrylic <laughs> nails. I woke up the next morning and they were just awful like they were bumpy and like see when I, I wine, like, when I get wine drunk I watch I do stuff like watch 50 shades of gray and just laugh <laughs> <laughs> I tried to watch the second one without wine and couldn't do it I couldn't do it sober so 
I went to see the Fifty Shades of Grey's movies by myself in the movie theater, <laughs> surrounded by like just groups of girlfriends and like couples and stuff. I was like, this is not the movie you see by yourself. It's not the movie you also go see with your girlfriends. Like that's like it, oh, like there was like a whole like a bunch of groups of girls who went. I mean, I'm not gonna lie though. Like it, it's one of those things where you know you've reached that level of friendship when you watch porn together and you don't like do anything about it. You're just watching porn because like, basically. Laughing. What that movie is, I mean, it's a very laughable movie. It is. They're both pretty bad. The last one, Nate and I actually went to see together. So I didn't have to go on the last one by myself. It was still quite laughable, don't get me wrong. I can't do it sober. I literally couldn't do it sober. It was not great. But I have a thing for bad movies, though. Like, oh, I love them. bad movies. They're so great, but, like, there's bad, and then there's just, like, I can't fucking do this. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> and Fifty Shades of Grey is bad if you're drunk or with other people oh yeah i think it's better than lindman's though it has more flavor yeah it's not it's 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 not as crisp no but i think it but it i think like the better. crisp kind of ruined that it did yeah mm. and guess how much i paid for the set of home i'm trying to remember it was like 485 I think it was on sale. I think it was like three something. Oh, see, I had two. The two of mine were on sale. But yeah. All right. I think it was those two, the top two. Yeah. She, she, oh, so I pick shitty wines. I don't know. My flip flop wine was pretty fucking bad. That was pretty bad, yeah. All right. So here is our ranking. How about we, do you want to pull more blackberry to celebrate the beginning? Sure. <laughs> I'm not going to fucking say, oh, maybe our taste will have changed now that we're a little bit drunker. You need to, I was just like, can you, can you clean that out for me? Oh, mine's empty, but <laughs> you keep it? I don't care. Okay. I'm not a picky bitch. Apparently I am. <laughs> well, you also still had stuff in it. Yeah. It's not great. Like between the two, I would definitely choose the blackberry over the other one. How full are we going? That's good. Okay. <laughs> I was about to be like, you need to give a girl the limit. I'm Irish. Like, I can fuck a day up. <laughs> How intoxicated is Caroline? Let's find out. Watch her You're good. Wine. You're good. <laughs> All right, so our number one of this current under $10 cheapest. Dirt cheap. The cheapest of each we could find. Is Mogan David's Blackberry. Blackberry. American classic. Cheers to that. We didn't cheers. <laughs> I can taste the alcohol more now. It seems sweeter. It does. <laughs> it's one of those wines that gets better the drunker you get. Everything gets better the drunker you get. Maybe we should try the bad one again. No. I, <laughs> I still, I'm still feeling like I'm gonna I'm spit so it out. I'm scared of it. It's just so like awful. it's one of those things where it's just scary. It's like absent. Like you know it'll get you there, but are you, you willing to it. take the risk? You know and then our second rank. Fair Day, um, just Fair Day. There's, it's a sparkling yeah. something. And then it's a sparkling wine. On a number three, the classic Sutter Holmes. I keep calling it Shutter Holmes. You really, you really do. The original White Zinfandel. Oh, so it's the original basic shit. Yeah, and this is a medium sweet, by the way. All right, four. Is our like super cheap Pinot Grigio with the crisp flavor? The but I mean, Lindman's. okay, actually. So I'm I gonna. I think it's a tie between. I feel like it's a tie because Sutter Home is more expensive. Yeah. The the Lindman. Lindman's. Lindman's is cheaper and it's consistently cheap. Yeah, like all all of it across the board is going to be like under four dollars. Exactly. So I say Sutter Homes and the Lindman's are like tied, tied for third. Tied for third. Um, we're gonna skip fourth, fourth and just go this fifth is the flip flop uh, feet wine. Foot, mm. it it tastes like, like you can it. taste the feet that was used to crush the grapes. Yeah. like it's, it's. and then in one hundredth place because there's that's nothing. just nasty. Yeah, don't if you like dirt gross wine, you like apothic dark, you like those nasty ass wines. This is the wine for you. Yes, you will love it. Burgundy. Berenger. <laughs> Founder's estate. Mm. I feel like they went from owning a like mortuary <laughs> to like, like let's make wine. wine. Yeah. 
And it tastes used, like it. You used the embalming table to... That's a thing. <laughs> so gross. Well, that's our third YouTube video. In the books. Boom. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share, all the things. All the stuff or something. Um, I'm Jesse. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. This is not the outro I'm used to. <laughs> I'm so confused. I've been Caroline. <laughs> I've been Jesse, and we do still work at the Apple store.